Hello, my name's Ross Clark. I'm a train driver for LNER based at Edinburgh Waverley. Now, occasionally I'm Ross to drive the route from Edinburgh to Aberdeen. So here's a wee flavour of the journey. So jump aboard and let's have a look at the beautiful North East Coastline. A warm welcome from Edinburgh Waverley, the starting point of our journey towards Aberdeen. We depart Edinburgh and head through Prince's Street Gardens under the watchful eye of Edinburgh Castle up to our left hand side and through the Haymarket Tunnels to our next stop, Haymarket. We depart Haymarket and weave our way across Haymarket West Junction. This is where we leave Edinburgh behind and begin our journey towards the Kingdom of Fife. The speeds on this route vary, so it's really an enjoyable journey and an enjoyable drive. We pass through Edinburgh Gateway and Edinburgh Airport on our left hand side and begin to climb up towards quite possibly one of the most beautiful structures on the railway. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the 4th Railway Bridge. I'm extremely privileged to be able to drive across this fantastic structure and also to view it from the front cab and I'm sure you'll agree it really is spectacular. The bridge links Edinburgh with the Kingdom of Fife. There's three cantilevers and used to have a team of painters whose sole job was to look after this magnificent structure. No sooner would they start painting and they would get to the third cantilever and they'd have to start all over again. As we depart the 4th Railway Bridge, we drop down towards the beautiful town of Inverkeithing. <music> Upon departing Inverkeithing, it's a lovely gentle climb up towards Dalgetty Bay. Then no soon after, the line falls away and begins a soft ascent down towards Aberdour. A stunning little station that has been very well looked after. Now after Aberdour, the railway hugs the coastline really closely and this affords a fantastic view to passengers of spectacular views across the Forth and back towards Edinburgh. You truly get a scale of the size of the fourth from here. We gently wind our way through and towards Burnt Island, an industrial town to the site of a former aluminium works. Now after Burnt Island, we have a slow gentle climb up towards Petticoat Bay and to Kinghorn Tunnel, which has its distinctive kink in it. Rumour has it that two engineers had a little bit of a disagreement, and one engineer, not happy, changed the angle of the bore, thus giving Kinghorn Tunnel its unique kink in the middle. We then pass through Kinghorn Station, where the line climbs a little bit higher. We start to drift in away from the coastline now, and in towards our next station stop, Kirkcaldy, known as the Lang Toon, as its main street is four miles long. From here, we steadily climb up towards Sinclair Town and Dysart, and the line drops away 80 mile an hour, down towards Thornton North and South Junction. pass through Mark Inch, and as you can see, we are in some spectacular countryside. We pass Lady 
Sydney Bank, then Cooper, then begin the journey towards Lucas, our next station stop. Home to the famous air show and a hot spot for many golfers. The line speeds 75 through here towards Tay Bridge, down to 35, and we pass over another magnificent structure. This bridge celebrated its 134th birthday on the 20th of June this year. Opened in 1887, it's the second bridge, the replacement for the original one which collapsed in a violent storm. As you can see, the remnants of the old pillars can be seen poking their heads above the water. She spans the Silvery Tay and brings us towards the City of Discovery, Dundee. After departing Dundee, we go through Dock Street Tunnel and then climb up towards Camperdown. Again, we're back near the coastline, through Brotty Ferry and then on the Long Street towards Carnoustie. Now we approach our next station stop, Arbroath. Famous for its smokies. They are delicious and you should try one. We're now under the old semaphore signals. It's a mixture on this route colour light signals and good old signal boxes. It's fascinating to see in this day and age. Now we pass the beautiful beach of Lunan Bay. Simply stunning. Occasionally you see hordes of horses charging up and down the sands and it truly is spectacular. Montrose. In Montrose, we approach a site called Canaber Junction, and this is the site of the great races to the north, where companies on east and west would race each other and see who could get to the north the quickest. And after Montrose, it's a beautiful climb up the countryside towards Stonehaven. Now we're quite high up now, you can see the coastline, but we're a little bit more inward. Stonehaven signifies our final climb towards Aberdeen in the Granite City. Dunotter Castle is out onto our right hand side. It's simply stunning, a medieval castle and well worth a visit should you ever find your way up this way. We pass through Newton Hill and now we begin the short burst down to Aberdeen towards Duthie Park and into Aberdeen itself, the granite city in all its splendour. Our journey's end. Hope you enjoyed the journey. We'll see you soon.